Good afternoon everybody. So I've just got down to Messingham Sands. Uh, Graham's just turned up behind me. I'm going to do a couple of nights I think. Not sure which pegs we're going to go on yet. On Syndicate Lake. Uh, so I'll grab a, a look around, see what looks good and decide and get set up. So on that note, I'll uh, catch back up with you in a bit once we've uh, decided what we're doing. See you in a bit. Right, we're back again. So there's virtually no beyond lake. So we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around, see what we can see and see where we're gonna to decide to set up. Not very often you've got choice at lake. So we'll make most of it. Very probably end up back where we normally start, but let's see how we go. Catch you in a bit. We've got round to the roadside, which was one of his first intentions to go and have a look at, but so we've this is the first peg on the roadside, which is a nice decent sized peg. I do believe that there's somebody on at one of these one at least one of these pegs down here. We'll keep going and have a look. Been much going. Yeah. Really bad, we're not doing a lot. Just trying to decide where to set up. Fished it much this season? Uh, not as much as normal. It's It fits, doesn't it? It's looking at pages, there's been quite a few out the last week or two. But then you, you don't seem to see much after that. some nice looking fish to be honest there what's coming out. Yeah. I had a, a 20 pound common last week and it, it's the first time I've seen it and it, it was a nice looking fish wasn't it? Mm. Yeah because you don't see many commons come out do you? There's been a lot coming out lately but it, up, normally it used to be minnows and stuff but there's been quite a few commons coming out lately. Seems to be quite a lot more bream as well now. I've never had a problem catching bream in here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Big baits? It's, uh, I've tried all sorts. It's very rare that I managed to go without catching a bream or two. I'm head back round and decide what we're doing. Where seems to be main pegs nowadays? I, I don't think there is any main pegs, is there? It, it, it you seems look on Facebook page, I'm sure they'll be It, it, it looks like they're on roadside more than all this over this last week. Dead man's used to be one at best pegs. Yeah, I think it still is. Quiet. If, if you can be bothered to take all your yeah. stuff around and stuff. I got a barrow just for it. Yeah. How long is he here for? Uh, depending on how it, how it fishes today and tonight with two nights. But Usually turns on at night, doesn't it? It's normally on at two nights anymore. Yeah, let's go get sorted and decide what we're doing. Good luck. Yes, and you'll wait. I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so, as I thought, we, we're back to where we started. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty much like we're going to do uh, 
right and left party peg. So this looks like it's going to be my peg, which is that one. And Graham is possibly going on this one. Time to uh, time to get some rods out and look at setting bivy and stuff up. So on that note. I'll uh, leave you to it while I get cracking. See you later. I'm back again. So this is where we're setting up. This is where I'm starting. Time to get my rods out, get my bivvy put up, and then get started. So that's where we are. I'll get back to you once we're uh, once we're on our way in a bit. Welcome back. So we're about set up over there on Pike Peg. So as you can see, my bivet, Graham's bivet, uh, rods are out, both pegs. Quite a few beeps on my right rod, probably a bream sat on it now in my lock. But we'll see what happens. On that note, I'll uh, leave you with a look at light behind me and we'll catch you later. Pouring rain and flat battery resulted in this video. Well, good afternoon, everybody. So, cut a strip short, uh, one night instead of two nights. Really slow, not much doing. I've had two mid doubles. Well, that's it for today down at Messingham, and we'll uh, see you again soon. <laughs>